guys, what is up? And welcome back to my shiny Chanel that, yes, I let you guys down on and said that I would be bothering with more, and I didn't. My bad. Yeah. So, the thing is, is I'm not here to make money from this. I know I'm not going to make money from it, but I can show you guys what I do in my spare time because I don't have hobby. Like, I brought a ukulele, but I gave up on that because that was too difficult. And I brought an electronic skateboard, but that was too difficult. Hang on, I'll show you. So, I got the cheaper version for like £300, but it weighs like 300 pounds that's why i don't bother with it hi i'm a girl and i'm lazy so anyway whilst i was broke because i never have any money and uh yeah that's the story of my life i found out that i can get a paypal credit approval with only seven percent apr that's amazing to people like me i'm on 37.5 percent apr because I can't do credit. No. I do pay my bills, but when I was younger, I paid them sporadically. Anyway, okay, so I've got my little, like, credit agreement all done, and I spent it all. <laughs> so this is my haul from one of my favourite UK shops. So if you are anywhere else in the world, I don't know, find out if they ship to you, because honestly, like, my elbow is not looking healthy. I don't know what happened there. Anyway, back to what I was saying, I went to one of my favourite, favourite UK shops being Skinny Dip London and their stuff is the best and even better their sales are the best. Okay I got a little bit carried away I've got a big box bear in mind this is a jewellery site with the odd bit of clothing so I've got a box and uh, yeah, I've got a bag full of stuff. I can't show you the other side because that has got my address on it and I've had a stalker before and I don't want a new one. Don't look. Anyway, okay, so I've kind of peeked inside the big box because it had the item that I'm going to say for last. The piece of resistance, if you will. That is why I am not wearing full clothing because I have an item of clothing. But the bag. I have been so self-restrained, you don't understand. I ordered this stuff weeks ago and I'm only now bringing it to you because I love Skinny Dip London. Their website is... This is not a sponsored video in no way, shape or form because hey, I'm too tiny to be sponsored. Yay! I've got a really bad hangnail and I don't have a nail file. I don't want a hangnail without a nail file. This sucks. Who is she? Right, okay. Let's get into the first bag. If this is full price stuff and not sale stuff, you're looking at an easy grand. I spent just over 200 quid, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first item I got myself, not the most exciting thing in the world, but something that most girls need and use, which is their own version of a beauty blender. So I can blend out my makeup. And it would have been six pound full price, and I paid. Okay, so in all fairness, it's a nice little, you know, beauty blender-esque thing. At least it's got like two tones to it. So I guess you could like work out where it's been on your face by the colour coding. <coughs> moving on. I am so worried about doing jewellery because this just isn't working out for me. Okay, moving on. It was a sponge. We get it. Next item I got myself was a lip kit and it originally would have cost. And I okay. paid. And these are great, okay? So they're cruelty free and vegan. They stay on for so long, it is insane. So I'm gonna give you a little flutter. I've got one of these kicking around somewhere. My mum got me it for Christmas. And then once I tried it, I was like, this is amazing. I'm just gonna get it out. Hi, do you wanna watch me get it out? <laughs> I love that I make myself laugh if no one else. Okay, so I have already got some eyeliner on my hand, but you know whatever okay so i've just done two swatches on my arm the top one being the liner the second one being the matte liquid lip okay so i wear the one that i've already got at the moment to work and i do a five hour shift and to be fair it lasts that whole five hours but i'm just gonna put it on now because i like it so skinny dip makeup it is vegan it's cruelty free it's not tested on animals and skinny dip do some really awesome kind of vegan vegetarian thing okay so moving on i got myself some makeup brushes so one of the coolest things about this brush and why i got this brush is because it's got moving glitter in it so the other great point hyperallergenic 
or whatever, you know where you can't have cats or whatever, I don't know. It did retail for £16 if you were going to buy it full price. I obviously got it for price. It's quite cool, it comes out really easily, which is them. Oh cool, and it's got a little hole kind of cut into it. So I'm guessing you can just pop whatever you want to blend out into that hole and then get to blending. Anyway, so that is the brush. So, oh, okay, wow, we've only done like three things. Okay, we need to hurry this along. This is going to be a long video, guys. Sorry. Okay, so something else that I got, and I'm not going to take it out of the packaging right now because I don't really feel the need to because the brushes are all the same and I have this kit of brushes but I rotate from pink and green or blue makeup depending on the colour of my hair sometimes black and it's nice just to have a separate set of brushes they are marble and no they are not the care whatever care care Carolyn Kerin whatever stuff that was being flogged on youtube but don't worry they're not from kara care keratin kara whatever the hell was being sold to you guys on youtube now they are skinny dip brushes they are engineered for precise application you get the e1 the e2 the e3 the e4 and the e5 if that means anything to you people but basically it is for the base color some shading on a soft angle then some light shading and then you know there's one for gels and creams and then the other one is for those eyebrows like and this one would of cost i don't know and i paid okay the next thing i got and i brought this to give to my mother i think or unless there's another pair in there no there's not i brought this to give to my mum it is basically just another brush set it is in the marble and it is a powder brush foundation applying brush and then two other brushes no wonder beauty school didn't want me i know nothing okay you have got a highlight pigment application soft bristle oh, that doesn't tell me anything I'm not going to get it there. Both sets are in marble, but they've got different coloured brushes at the top. This set, however, gives you the E1, F1, E1, E2. This one right here is an F3. So, I guess they're doing, like, the Morphe code, and I don't know. Anyway, it's got a value of $56. It was exclusively for Nordstrom. Oh, this comes from Nordstrom. So, you guys do have skinny dip in the USA. Cool. Um, it would have been 35 bucks, but I actually only paid this amount. It's weird that they ship back the sales stuff to the UK. Um, if you are watching this and you like skinny dip, can you just let me know down below if you actually get skinny dip sales in your country? Because in our country, it's banging okay so the canon is getting a little bit light excited not too sure why but okay canon anyway moving on i've got myself this now i know what you're wondering what on earth is this well it is a black lunar hat it is a little a beret and it would have cost you 14 pounds if you would have brought it when it first came out and it's really cool because inside the uh the lining it does say it's skinny dip let me just get it on i love berets i think berets are so cool but my hair is not cut out to be wearing one today but that's fine we can deal with that i'm working on getting the beret on okay so i think the beret cost me about five pound i'm not too sure but i'm gonna put here while i try and fix my hair how much the beret actually cost me okay i feel like as a european it's really bad that i'm not too sure on how to wear a beret but i'm going with this way so hey we're wearing it this way this could be totally wrong. I'm just going to Google how to wear a beret, okay? Because I'm, I'm clearly not doing it right. Okay, yeah, I was wearing it wrong. Okay, well, I much like them more on the side, but I like wearing hats on the side, so I'm going to wear it how I want to wear it. Anyway, you have to secure these bad boys in place because they is just going to run. We're going to move on to the next item, which is whatever this is. Okay, what did I buy? Did I buy? Oh, okay, and it's a makeup bag set, so... I am running out of makeup storage and I wanted a nice bag to take should I ever actually find myself a man. Who knows? It might happen. But anyway, full price, £20 I paid. This berry has just completely changed my mood. It's amazing. Okay, next. I thought I might have brought something along these lines. Okay, so I brought something pretty cool. It retails for £30. I didn't pay £30 for it. I am wearing it today, though, when I go out. And it is this hoodie. And the logo on it just says bitchin', which I think is pretty bad a 
Yeah. So I got it in a size small. I don't know. I've never tried their clothes before, but I'm guessing a small would fit. I also saw this, but you should never recreate what I do because I'm an idiot, which has been proven on loads of my videos previously. But if you ever want to get something on without getting makeup all over it, just put a bag over your head. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. So I'm going to go and put on my bitchin' hoodie. This feels really nice. It's a nice hoodie, as far as hoodies go. Let me show you. It's got a good sleeve length, like you could dab, should you need to dab and not expose your Rolex. I kind of feel like if my hair was the colour that I meant it to be, like, this would look a lot better with it. Oh, okay, so, and also it's in kind of like a felt effect. Uh, the bitchin but it is a super comfy hoodie and it's got a little pocket it is a really good length you can like it's a good size small i would say if you were maybe up to size 10 you could probably get into a small if you're like a size 6 you may be drowning a little bit i don't so yeah, 30 quid 30 quid for like a branded hoodie anyway is quite cheap but i got it for i don't even know if this was in the sale i don't know i can't remember I just buy. Now we move on to the box. When I saw this box, I forgot just how much money I'd spent. But hey, I love skinny dip. So, okay, it turns out I brought me and my mum a brush set. <laughs> Who knew? I brought two. I got a 10% off code as well. Thanks, skinny dip. Turns out I brought another beauty blender. I really need to read these receipts. But that's not... I don't think I brought two of them, but obviously I did. I don't know. Maybe it was just such a banging bargain. I was like, I need two. But guys, both sets have come over from the US. So like, you guys are getting conned out of your sales. Okay, so what did I buy myself? I have wanted one of these for ages. So when I went to London Luton Airport, they had them, but they didn't have any plain ones. And I wanted a really plain one. So it is just a plain black bun bag. Okay, so it is a polyester faux snake skin appearing kind of bun bag. It's got some really hefty, like, heavy-duty zips to it. Okay, and like everything they do, they tend to put their little logo on the back. Okay, no one in their right mind can say this isn't cute. It is absolutely adorable, and it does actually go with the leggings that I'm wearing. So I might use it today. Who knows? I want to see if it can go that way around as well. This does have, like, a little adjustable strap at. I'm totally going to regret doing this because I'm never going to wear it that way either. And yes, you can become your very own bitchin hype beast please <laughs> don't do that anyway guys that is it for today no it's not my normal video i understand that i'm moving up the courage to use the diy tattoo kit that i do currently have and i am too scared to use um i'm gonna go and put on a top go and see my aunt come back and then film another video Hey. but yeah hopefully you're gonna get two videos this week and we're gonna try and actually keep it up hopefully you like this video if you did give it a big thumbs up if you could subscribe i'll be your best friend and hopefully i will see you next time